Deep in the Isenia Plains, one man Bruce Fields takes us through the dismantling and assembly of his best toy in the world, the gyrocopter. Fields, a businessman dealing in fiberglass, has a passion for aviation, and as the saying goes, boys love toys, but it depends which one you've got. He has a personal airstrip on 200-acre farm just 40 kilometers east of Nairobi where he lands his mini chopper. The whole thing is fairly unique because this is a, a gyrocopter. One calls it a gyrocopter. It's known as a auto gyro or a gyroplane. Auto gyro is characterized by a free spinning rotor that turns because of passage of air upward through the rotor. Gyrocopters are wonders of aviation. It is kept aloft by its main propeller, which spins above you like in a helicopter, except that the propeller is attached to nothing whatsoever. The main prop is tilted back quite a bit, so moving forward causes wind to pass through your main prop. The downdraft generates lift and your airborne with significantly less runway than you will require with even the smallest airplanes. You don't see many of these around. At the moment we only have uh, five here in Kenya. There's quite a lot of them in South Africa. The actual um, fuselage of it is fiberglass. It's a molded unit where quite a lot of lightweight aircraft are, have fiberglass um, body on it. But it's got a very um, an aviation type of steel, a special steel that the main frame is made of. Um, so it's not unique in its way, it's, it's the actual flying machine It's unique, the way it does fly. And now we let the owner do the explanation. We're looking here at the obviously the engine. The engine doesn't have any covers on it, so it makes it very easy to inspect. Every time you go flying, you want to check the spark plug connections, the carburetors, the electrics. And while you're here, you will check the controls up to, these are the actual controls that control the, uh, the rotors. You've got the propeller, one checks the blades, and so that is a general inspection in this area. And then working forwards, you would go there and check the controls, um, which are very similar to an aircraft. You have the rudder pedals going right through to the, the tail plane here on the rudder. Um, exactly the same as an, uh, most light aircraft, where the nose wheel for steering is connected direct to the rudder, which is for steering when, you, when one is in the air. The two-seater plane is cheaper and is estimated to cost 5.5 million shillings, much cheaper than a new SUV. It has a 90 liters fuel tank that can fly you to and from Nanyuki, where Fields also uses the craft to spray crops. And guess what? It does not have aviation fuel but super petrol. No, normal fuel, straight from the car, not even, not even aviation fuel, straight uh, motor, uh, motor fuel. Yeah, super, super unleaded. Flying in this aircraft looks risky and scary, but when we took off, at first I felt the butterflies in my stomach, but eventually settled down as we flew through the planes. It may be a toy for fun for fields, but in Germany, the piece of technology is used by police for patrol. It's cheap to maintain and has an insurance cover. If you want to beat the traffic in town, get one. For Tech Toys, I'm Nicholas Modimba.